Hey guys, Kristen here. As a follow-up to my interview with Anna yesterday, I want to talk more about the topic of sacrifice. It definitely comes up as a major reason that it can be difficult to heal. People, of course, get very upset when they can't do things the way they used to, and they feel like they have to sacrifice their life to get better. And people often wonder, well, what's the point of it getting better if I can't do all these things that I used to enjoy? And while that's completely understandable and very natural and very normal for people to not want to give up things that they enjoy doing, it really requires a new mindset for us to, to first regain our health and then retain those health gains that we've made. And that often requires a lot of sacrifice. Now, personally, I don't like using the word sacrifice. Sacrifice calls to mind giving up things that we want. But with a healing mindset, there's always a flip side to that. It's not just about giving up things that we desire. It's we're doing it because we're reclaiming our feeling of health. We're giving up things that lead to poor health in order to gain good health. Now, exactly what we have to give up in order to regain our health is gonna be different for each person. And where that line of sacrifice versus a trade-off lies is gonna be unique to you and something that you need to really discover for yourself. So I'm gonna share an example of a time when I felt like I really had to compromise to find a win-win situation that was a trade-off instead of just a sacrifice. So a couple years ago, one of my sisters got married and I was one of her bridesmaids which was awesome and wonderful, and I was so happy to get to be in her wedding. However, at the time, I was in the middle of one of my major relapses, and I was too ill to work. I was unemployed. I was so sick. But I was determined to be in my sister's wedding, to do as much as I could that day. However, I knew that I could not do it all. I knew that I had to place boundaries on what I could and could not do. And I thought about the entire day and everything that would happen, and I, and I chose the most critical moments for me. The most critical moments were, of course, being in the ceremony itself, in the church, and then also being at the dinner. I decided that as long as I got to do those two things, I could live with sacrificing other parts of the day. So what that day actually ended up looking like was... All the other bridesmaids and my sister went to my sister's hotel room and they were getting ready together and getting their photographs taken. And I missed out on the first couple hours of that because I wasn't feeling well. I knew that I needed to be in bed resting if I was gonna make it through the ceremony and dinner. So I joined everybody late. I still got ready. I still did what I needed to do. But I, you could say I sacrificed part of that getting ready morning, although I view it as I made an intentional trade-off, and I felt really good about that. Then we were shuttled around town, um, getting photos of different places, and I really utilized the shuttle <laughs> as my time to sit down and rest, and to counterbalance that with the time I had to be standing and active. I also had little tactics that I used to give myself extra energy throughout the day. Now. These specific tactics were short-term ones. I knew that by using these tactics, I was sacrificing my energy tomorrow and the day after and for the entire next week. In fact, after this, after this one day, after everything I did for this wedding, it took me a couple weeks to actually recover my energy back to what it was before that day. So going on, um, I made it through the enti entire ceremony, which was awesome and wonderful. I loved being able to do that. It was a joy to be there with her for that. And then we made it through the dinner and I got to have a little bit of dessert and I got to kind of go around and mingle with everybody at the wedding a little bit. But then I needed to leave early. I left the wedding at around, I think, 9 p.m. that evening when everyone else was there for hours, probably until midnight or later, dancing and drinking and just getting to hang out. But because of how much I pushed myself earlier that day to be part of the, the, getting, the getting ready um, photographs and everything, and to get through the ceremony and to get through the dinner, I was beyond my limit. I, I'd reached the point where it was getting difficult to walk without my, my boyfriend like holding me up. Um, I think pretty sure that 
at least a couple of my relatives thought that I had just gotten too drunk to walk on my own, <laughs> which is fine. They can think whatever they want. But the truth is that my chronic fatigue uh, was so severe that I was unable to walk. But hey, whatever. I took what I could get and I was happy with what I got out of that day. So a little bit of a long video today, um, but that's a really detailed story on how to reframe sacrifice to find a win-win situation that works for you, that works for your life, and that works for your health long-term.